Hey lovelies, you are looking at my new moon altar for tonight. Um, yes, I realize that we just barely got past Imolg, but I felt very moved to make a new altar for the new moon. And this one has a lot of um, shamanic aspects involved in it. There's my uh, smudge fan, which I made. Uh, there are... Um, the Shaman's Oracle uh, Oracle cards in here. Um, I have my rattle. I have my seashell. And then um, these are Bridget prayer beads that I have. Um, and I'm also working with like Divine Feminine Goddess Energy. So yes, I do have some Mary candles. And um, I have my tin with the moon and my moon rock. And um, these are specific crystals for working with lunar energy. So new moon um, and like the February to March uh, moon cycle in particular, the crystals associated with that are amethyst and jasper. So um, all these ones here around the central amethyst, they are all different types of jasper. And then I have um, moonstone in there as well because, well, let's face it, when you're working with the moon, moonstone's a pretty natural choice. <clears throat> so, um, and there's my lovely hot cup of tea. Let me take a sip. Oh, hot, very hot. Okay, that's gonna need a couple of minutes. Um, I showed on Instagram and possibly also Facebook, um, I made some uh, goddess figurines out of a material called Sculpey, or was it my blog? I don't remember. I will find out for you. Sculpey is a bakeable clay, which you can buy at most craft stores. Now, this goddess is not quite done. She's got, as you can see, a moon on her forehead and a spiral on her chest, or uh, abdomen, her womb, which I need to be painted silver but I'm still waiting as you can tell this some of this paint is still wet um, so she is drying and I will paint her she actually I don't know if you can see her arms and then on her back she actually broke in the baking process um, she started to bend over backwards and I did manage to save her by gluing her back together but she's not perfect so um, we shall see about um, possibly making another one of these in the future to like that's, you know, maybe propped up with some toothpicks or some, uh, what you might call it, um, like bo metal bobby pins or something inside to keep her from tilting. But for now, she'll do. And this is my other goddess statue, which, yeah, it is mostly dry, sticking to the paper. Ah, sorry. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, a little bit wet still in a couple places. Uh, she needs a new, another coat of silver anyways. So um, she is going to go on the altar that I just showed you right there. That's her place right there. So when she has another coat of paint on and she's dry, she'll be going on. I have the triple moon here. And then I have phases of the moon etched into her arms there. And then another sacred spiral. Um, this video I am showing you something, and that is my brand new altar for the Morrigan. So I have dark candle, I have a lot of um, dark crystals and stones, a lot of carnelian and, and um, obsidian, and black tourmaline and smoky quartz, I have citrine, I have um, honey calcite, I have tiger's eye. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with this altar. And then these beads here, these prayer beads, um, I attempted to showcase them in a video before, and the video failed. My video equipment failed. And then um, even when I did manage to get a video up, uh, like, recorded, it actually, um, I refused to upload onto the computer. So I kind of took it as a sign that it wasn't time to reveal them yet. And I'm glad that I didn't because I didn't know what I was going to use them for then, and I do now. So this was actually a set of prayer beads given to me by my very good friend, Brie. And she made them. Isn't she talented? And so um, 
I didn't know what I was going to use them for, but now I do. Uh, the Morgan actually came to me in a dream and told me that these needed to be dedicated to her as prayer beads for her. So tonight during my new moon ceremony, I am going to be a ritual. I am going to be uh, dedicating these to her and I'm also going to be writing some prayers to recite as I work through each of the beads. So there's three types. There's these and I'm assuming are handmade glass beads. These are, oh, I hope you'll forgive me, Brie, I've forgotten. I'm pretty sure these are obsidian. And then this is carnelian agate. And so is this big bad boy right here. That is a big bad boy, heavy. Like this thing is weighty. So it's just, it's gorgeous. I love it. I cannot wait to start working with it with the Morrigan. And um, that dark goddess that you saw, that the red one, is going to be going on this altar right here when she is dry. So this is my, I'm just going to make more, some room there for everybody. There we go. And then um, I have a smudge stick ready for tonight too. So yes, that is where she is going to go. So um, I just wanted to show you real quick. This is where... I have planted my Narcissus from Imolk. So the one on the left is actually the one that was on my altar. And I planted it in there in between my um, hostas that uh, are currently dead and dying and we need to come back in the spring. And I realized I wanted to put another one there as well. So what I actually end up doing is um, because of the way that I've started to work with the goddess since Imolk, I've basically started to work with Bridget and the Morgan simultaneously. Um, the two Between the two of them representing essentially all three aspects of the goddess. So I decided that I would dedicate um, the uh, one on the left to Bridget because that was my Imolk uh, Narcissus. And then I got another one here in the f um, closer to us in the front. And that is going to be our, um, or my, I should say, my Morgan dedicated Narcissus. So um, together the two of them will continue to remind me of the cycles of life, uh, of like birth and um you know, maturation, and then ultimately uh, death and going back to the earth to be reborn again in the spring every year. So I love having a little bit of pop of color in my garden right now. It's hard to tell, but over there by my fountain, there are some green shoots, and actually closer to the front of the stones are some more, um, particularly right, let's see if I can get my finger right there, that... Um, that set of uh, shoots is actually some crocuses, and they are um, sending up some very nice, uh, you can just start to see the color of the buds. So spring is returning. It's so nice to see, and um, I will talk to all of you guys very soon. I hope you liked my little um, altar show and tells. Have a very blessed new moon, everyone. Bye.